Tracking mileage is one of the most important things we as rideshare drivers need to do in order to maximize tax deductions. And if you do it right, you could offset nearly all of your earnings. Uh, today we're going to discuss the top five mileage tracking apps to use in 2020 and be sure to stick around to the end because we'll discuss why it is so important to track your mileage. And the first app that we'll discuss is Stride. Stride is a free mileage and expense tracking app and it allows you to track trips automatically or you can enter trips manually. And a great thing about Stride is you can also track expenses as well. You can add a bank account to automatically track write-offs or you can do it manually in one of these provided categories. Again, Stride is completely free and we have provided a link in the description to download. The next app is Hurdler. In order to get automatic tracking with Hurdler, you do actually have to purchase their premium package, which is either $60 per year or $8 per month. And again, as this is a business expense, it is tax deductible. And if you do sign up for the premium package, you will get other auto tracking, auto expense tracking, auto income tracking, as well as the auto mileage tracking. Included with the free version though, you can track miles manually. And the next app is TripLog. And like Hurdler with TripLog, in order to unlock automatic tracking, you do have to actually purchase the professional package, which is a bit cheaper at $4 per month or $40 per year. And TripLog has a few auto start options. You can use Magic Trip, and it says here Magic Trip monitors your speed in the background and kicks in after one to two minutes of driving and then shuts off after you've been idle for five minutes. Another option is to use your car Bluetooth. Your mileage tracking will start after you drive over five miles per hour while connected to your car's Bluetooth. You also have the option to plug and go. Mileage tracking will start when you plug your phone into your car charger and go over five miles per hour unplug to stop the trip. And I personally really like this plug and go option because as rideshare drivers, that's typically part of our routine. We get in our car, we plug in our phone and we drive. This way the app doesn't have to be tracking your location at all times, even when you're outside of your vehicle. And you also have a manual option. And we have a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for TripLog. The next app is Everlance. And with Everlance, it automatically allows you to track up to 30 free trips per month. So this would be great for a very part-time driver. And if you do want to upgrade to unlimited auto tracking, you'll have to purchase the premium package, which is either $60 per year or $8 per month, the exact same cost as Hurdler. And using Everlance, like the others, you can also add trips manually if you'd like. And the last app is Mile IQ. And Mile IQ offers you 40 automatic trips per month. 10 more than Everlance. And in order to upgrade to unlimited, it's either $60 per year or $6 per month. Mile IQ offers automatic drive detection, which typically kicks in after you've driven about a half mile. And also with Mile IQ, you have the option to enter a trip manually. And again, we have a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for Mile IQ. All right, so those are the five apps. You have a few different options. The only truly free one is Stride, and I'm, I'm guessing many of you could get by with that one, but some of the other apps offer some different functionality, and you could give those a try as well. A lot of those do have a free trial period for a lot of their premium features. And again, we'll have links in the description to sign up for each app if you'd like to. Now, why is it so important to track mileage yourself? Um, sure, Uber and Lyft pr provide you with a mileage total at the end of the year in your tax summary, but they're not tracking all of your rideshare miles especially if you're crossing over from Uber and Lyft, um, you wanna make sure to track every single mile that you drive for both companies. And additionally, you'll wanna track any business miles outside of rideshare driving. So say you drive to a local uh, green light hub, you're gonna to wanna to track that mileage. Say you go to Best Buy to buy a dash cam, or say you go to the store to buy snacks and treats for your passengers, or even if you're going to get a car wash, all of that mileage you can claim and you're gonna to wanna to track it. So for example, I personally logged nearly 30,000 miles last year in 2019 related to my rideshare business. Um, the IRS standard mileage rate last year is 58 cents. Uh, take 58 cents, multiply that by the 30,000 miles, and I'm getting a tax deduction of just over $17,000. But let us know in the comments how you track your mileage. Um, do you use one of these apps? Do you use a spreadsheet? Do you do it by hand with a logbook? Um, let us know. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.